how to make potent infused MCT oil, butter, coconut oil, or olive oil with the mason pot kit. In today's example, we'll be doing MCT oil with a half ounce of flour. Two different strains here, so we have them in different bags. We'll be combining them, but if you do buy the OG bundle, you'll have three jars total, so you could do three infusions, uh, butter, olive oil, coconut oil, different strains. Unpack your mason pot kit, and we'll go through what's in there exactly right now, so give you a good feel for it. The mason pot jar with silicone sleeve. Keeps jar insulated while protecting against char slash burn, keeping a consistent temperature throughout provides a nice grip and protects the jar from breaking. The pothole in the back allows for view of infusion, which is especially helpful when it comes to infusing concentrates. The mason pot lid, custom lid with silicone hole insert for the mason pot thermometer. The mason pot digital thermometer and timer. Precise decarboxylation and infusing. The mason pot puck, a true game changer in the world of infusing. High quality, food grade stainless steel fits perfectly inside the mason jar, allowing for you to get every bit of that liquid gold. The mason pot press to be used in coordination with the mason pot puck. High quality, food grade stainless steel press with finished wooden handle. Fits perfectly inside the mason puck, allowing for a flawless press every time. The mason pot fine strainer. No more wasted money on cheesecloth or other flimsy strainers. For those that like the finer things in life, allowing you to get the cleanest infusion, removing any remaining fine herbs for the perfect strain every time. The Mason Pot High Quality Microfiber Kitchen Towel, a dedicated cleaning towel to make life easier. High water absorbent, eco-friendly, ultra soft material and scratch free, absorbent, lint free, reusable and long lasting. This was like the last thing I included in the kit, but I have been using it so much. It's so nice too at the end of your infusion to clean everything up. The Mason Pot Towel, gets it done. The classic tin lunchbox. The tin lunchbox carrying case allows you to keep everything you need in one place. Who needs cool plastic or cardboard or any type of other packaging just to end up in a landfill? At Mason Pot, we believe in reusing our packaging and the tin lunchbox is the way to do it. It's also nice to bring to a party with your infusions ready to go. Preheat your oven to 240 degrees. It's time to break down our flour, put it right in the jar here, and we're gonna get ready for that decarb. Put the lid with the silicone hole back on, insert the thermometer, put it in the oven, 240 degrees for 40 minutes. This will give us the activated, AKA decarboxylated cannabis. Set it on the counter, let it chill for a little while, let those vapors settle down, and then get ready to add your oil here. We'll be doing the one cup of MCT oil here again to the half ounce of flour. This will be a nice potent batch. We recommend setting your oven to 190 and keeping the range between 190 to 200. You can go up to 220. You could go a little higher too, but we like to keep it below 220 for sure and kind of in that sweet spot of 190 to 200. Set your timer for 60 minutes. When this 60 minutes is up, go give the mason pot a little swirl. I just used the microfiber cloth to do this. It mixes it up a little bit, not 100% necessary, but just a nice little extra touch. Then set your timer for another 60 minutes and your infusion will be ready. Remove your infusion carefully from the oven and set on your countertop, let it cool, and we're gonna get ready to strain that liquid gold. We have the fine strainer set up in this other mason pot jar. You could use any cup or whatever else you have. Let's drop that mason pot puck right in and get ready to press that out, getting every last drop there again for you guys. And this fine strainer gets out any other particles that the press and puck didn't, giving you a clean, fine strain every time. When it's done, just go clean it in the sink real quick. I like um, putting the um, leftover flour in the bag and sealing it. Even if you're throwing it away, it can smell, but you can also reutilize it as well. As you see, I'm just using soap and hot water here, and then using the microfiber cloth just to dry it off real quick. I like doing this right when the infusion's done, putting everything back in the kit so I have it in one place and storing that you know, infused oil in the refrigerator is what I recommend doing. And you're good to go, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Again, you could do anything you want besides the MCT oil, butter, coconut oil, olive oil. And this is how I like to put it back. Do you see how the fine strainers in there with the handle all in one? I just wanted to show you that, how I kind of load up the kit because it is condensed. That's the beauty of it, everything you need there. So thanks again, guys. You know, masonpot.com has all the content you need to keep cranking out great infusions. And please feel free to reach out at masonpot at gmail.com if you have any questions at all. My name's Jack again. I will personally be there to answer or one of our other associates will help you out. So thanks again, guys. Welcome to the fam.